Welcome back to Ponoy Crossover. Mark and Mark, I was pointing at me. Mark and Mark <laughs> over there, Nelly, PJ. Let's talk about what's up in the NBA. What do we have? All right, let's start up with, uh, you know, I want to cover a bit of teams that haven't been getting much love or media attention because it's always been about the Warriors, Cleveland. So let's go straight up to a team in the West right now that's been playing really well and, and we haven't really paid much attention to them. Uh, the Timberwolves, like, are we sleeping on them? Because mm -hmm. right now they're fourth in the West. That's a pretty good improvement. Like, you know, they're just behind San Antonio Spurs, Houston Rockets, and the Golden State Warriors. What are your thoughts about them so far? You go first. Absolutely. You know, definitely sleeping on them. They're actually the top defensive team right now in the past month. Uh, Coach Tibbs has been amazing. Uh, a lot of his decision making and all the lineups he's doing. And he's also keeping his players healthy as well. Uh, Wiggins can still improve, uh, but they're playing one of their best basketballs right now and definitely sleeping on them. So they're going to sneak into the playoffs for sure. Mm, I, I believe that too. I, I feel like Butler obviously was, the, was a great acquisition and he's paying off, um, playing great defense. They're just clicking right now and it's, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, in the playoffs and when it, when it matters. But mm -hmm. for now, Coach Tibbs is doing a good job and like, yeah, I can't, see, I can't wait to see like the matchups in the playoffs. I, do you, do you I think with the, um, I sorry? Mean, go ahead. No, I definitely want to avoid them in playoffs. Like mm -hmm. if I was in any team in the West, so because they're 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 pretty scary. Mm. Was the win legit? Like the past two games that they played was the Cleveland Cavaliers, who they demolish. Um, they, it was over by the first quarter, mm -hmm. and then they beat just OKC <laughs> yesterday by mm -hmm. double digits. Or do you think these kind of wins are legit? Like these teams are, you know, they can beat them for real in terms of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's, they yeah. can. Yeah, Go ahead. I think that I think they can. Um, obviously, when you're asking it, it kind of seems like oh, it's like surprising. But I feel like they have it in them, and it's mm -hmm. they have they just have to be able to consistently do that. They're still a very young team, but like they have veteran leadership. So until they all really click together and they figure out what their roles are, then I think it'll be easier. I don't know if they can do that all the time, like demolish like. Top like teams, that, yeah, top teams like that. Like, yeah. But for sure, they have the firepower to do so. Mm -hmm. And if, if Jimmy Butler is playing really great, then mm -hmm. he'll lead the lead the charge too. It's gonna take some time to gel, and uh, the team chemistry just doesn't happen overnight. It's gonna mm -hmm. take maybe one quarter of the season, and they are doing amazing right now. So, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of respect to them. How about you, Marky Mark? What do you think? You're you're the. There's just one thing I want to add to maybe like teams right now, future teams that are looking to build the same way that Timberwolves did, which is what they had was a not young nucleus of mm. players. Like, they have a superstar in the making with Towns, Wiggins, uh, they have Tyus Jones. They have a bunch of young players. And what they did was that they kept a top-notch coach, which is Tibbs, and then they brought in veteran and mature uh, players that, to surround it, yeah. to solidify, you know, to keep them focused, to, keep them, to give them the kind of guidance. And I feel like young teams now in the NBA should follow the same kind of route because it gives them stability and it gives, you know, uh, a sense of direction because uh, what I didn't see uh, in teams like the Lakers and um, teams like uh, the Nets or the Knicks or uh, the uh, Sixers was that kind of coaching and, and veteran presence that they brought in to keep a team solidified and have them set a goal and to keep them focused. So maybe next year for the Sixers, maybe they should bring in a, a, a guy that can, you know, mm -hmm. solidify, yeah. uh, bring veteran uh, leadership. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, what they're trying to do, Sixers and the Lakers, when they're trying to bring a guy like Paul George or mm -hmm. LeBron James into their squad next year, that's why they're trying to empty their cap space. And yeah. I feel like a lot of teams are doing that with their young core. And I think Timberwolves are one of the teams that were able to do that successfully mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, in, in your opinion, do you th do you think that like back to your question, do you think Timberwolves are a legitimate threat, or are they being slept on, or are they underrated? They are. Eh? Yeah. They are. I think they they have. You know, I wrote in an article a, a couple months ago about mm -hmm. the you know the, the formula of success right now in the NBA in terms of what you need to have, and like one of the things that I mentioned was the Timberwolves because they have the same formula that the Warriors have, mm -hmm. which is uh, two superstars and a two-way player that can play both ends of the court. And which is Damian Butler, what they had. They have a superstar in town, so they have two superstars, which is the same as what um, Warriors had with Curry and Durant. They have already have you know a guy that the, the hustle guy that does a little bit of everything, you know, which is kind of like a Draymond, which is Taj Gibson. He does a little bit of everything. He's just a glue guy kind of player. And then they have a guy off the bench coming off the bench, which is Jamal Crawford. 
And so they have the kind of formula to really to, mm -hmm. uh, to succeed in the NBA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're just playing their way. It's not the same as how the Warriors play because of their shooting. But mm -hmm. with them, it's the, the same kind of formula that the Warriors have. Don't forget, they also have Jeff Teague that sidelines right now. He's injured, so... Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, uh, Still a lot Jeff of Teague and Andrew Wiggins. And really, Wiggins uh, is a sleeper, too. It's, like, it's, they're the good role players yeah. to surround them, which is the same as what the Warriors have. They surround the, their stars with role players like Zaza, mm -hmm. Sean Livingston. I mean, we're still, mm -hmm. you know, the only difference with, that makes them a championship is they have another two-way guy. Yep. Yeah. Not just Durant and Draymond and Curry, which is Clay Thompson, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quick, let's talk about the Miami Heat. <laughs> let's go a quick on <laughs> I mean, they're fourth like in the fire. West right now. Yeah. They're fourth in the West, and, mm -hmm. and, and they're only behind, what, the Raptors, Boston, mm -hmm. and, and Cleveland. Um, and no one's talking about them. They're a scrappy team. Scrappy team. Very exactly. scrappy. Uh, like, not they afraid. play hard defense. Like, these guys, like, you know, these guys are maybe no names. Maybe you're not going to get an all-star with them, not going to get any all-star kind of players this coming all-star. Uh, they got nothing to fear. No. Mm -hmm. Nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you think it's, it's the benefit of, you know, maybe this is time to give more credit to Eric Spolstra. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And no one's been giving him enough credit the way he, because when he was coaching and he won a championship, he's, saying you he's had a phenomenal ball. coach. Yeah. And now that he didn't have anybody, yeah. he's making them play, you know, playoff basketball. They're playing, these guys are playing top notch. Yeah, he's extracting the most out of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's great about Eric Spolstra, yeah. what people didn't know, is the, this guy makes the most out of any player that was given to him. These players are on like cheap contract. Nobody knew about them. Mm -hmm. I mean, Josh Richardson, nobody knew about. James Johnson was bouncing around the league. Yeah. Son Whiteside was bouncing around the league. Deion Waiters, he took all these players that were bouncing around the league and made them, you know, playing mm -hmm. great basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, sorry to say the time's up. When we, uh, anything you'd like to say, shout outs, Marky, Marky Mark? Uh, just shout out to, you know, uh, all our fans that are watching the show. And, uh, you know, if you guys caught me, I'm the one managing uh, the Instagram. So if you have any comments, if you guys want to show your highlights, if you have any, like, mixtape, if you're a little kid playing basketball and you want us to highlight your, uh, your mixtape, shout us out at Pinot Crossover on Instagram. I will catch it and I will show <laughs> I will you some it. love. There you go. Nelly, any shout outs you'd like to give? Nothing. Just uh, shout out to all the ballers out there. Uh, stay safe and uh, keep playing basketball. Balls stay like safe. You, you can't see his hand, but stay safe. <laughs> stay safe. That's all. <laughs> yeah, make sure you keep on following our social media accounts at Punoy Crossover FTV. Uh, yeah, and hey, that's it. Stay balling.